Hello everyone, Catsman Fed, and it's time for another edition of Dry Hard Gaming with me, Roll Cage TV, where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of ch ch, -ch changes Changes. Actually, it's not a whole lot of changes. Just a couple changes. Um, to my stream schedule, it's the most important thing that has changed. I, uh, it is now a Thursday evening, not a Wednesday evening, and uh, I decided to change my evening schedule times for streams. Tuesday night and Thursday nights are going to be my weekday streams now, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Central Times. It was Monday, Wednesday, but now it's Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then on the weekends, I'm still doing Saturdays and Sundays at noon. Uh, sorry, 12.30, uh, a little past noon. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Just changed a couple days, uh, even things out a little bit more. I, uh, was able to arrange that. So, uh, if you are watching on YouTube, uh, feel free to stop by the stream. Link, uh, in the description, in the doobly-doo, as they say. I don't think, do they, I don't think they say, I don't see anyone saying doobly-doo unless they can point down in the doobly-doo. And I can't point down in the doobly-doo because you can't see me here. But anyway, links in the description, uh, on the about page, if, you know, whatever, uh, on the on screen in front of you is the address, twitch.tv slash rollcage on the bar TV. If you're watching on Twitch, consider subscribing on YouTube, or subscribing on Twitch, I'll get money, but consider subscribing on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash at rollcage TV. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, trying to power through and get, uh, Get my subscriber count up on YouTube. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed there. But as far as Twitch is concerned, also, at some point, Twitch changed it so that you can get more emotes now. Uh, I was taken by surprise by this. It used to be that, well, you have to be monetized. You have to be an affiliate to be able to have emotes for your viewers. And then um, you could get one emote if your viewers get one emote if um you became affiliate and if you crossed a certain level of subscribers the first level is 15 subscribers i think you can get a second emote so when i first started streaming i had a bunch of people subbing and gifting subs and whatever so i unlocked that second slot of emotes so i have two emotes i have the uh roll cage racer cat or roll it's my prefix is R-O-L-L-C-A-1, sadly. Until I become a partner, I can't change that. But um, that is, ugh. And you know what? This is not going to work if I do it this way. I have to do it this way. Uh, anyway, so you can type it out or you just choose it from a list. Um, so that is one emote, roll... Roll K1 Racer, and then uh, next uh, emote is um, uh, Gamer, there. Uh, but now, there's an option. Um, now they've expanded that number. You can have, because I've reached level two, I can actually have, I think, six subscriber emotes now and that's tier one subscribers you can also if you are a tier two subscriber or tier three subscriber you get a special emote for each of those and um yeah so now i've got like four new emotes to do plus they have unlocked animated emotes um and because i'm at tier two i can do an animated emote so this is my one animated emote right now it is kareen if you're typing it out, prefix cream. And then uh, that's all I put together. Those I had already uh, put together, but I just found this out a couple hours ago. So I'm gonna make some more. Uh, my other animated one will probably be an animated version of, of the gamer, uh, just a, a rumble one. Um, and then also there are now follower emotes, which is something they brand new they hadn't had before. And I don't know, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to how many there are. I think there are. Um, follower emotes, yeah. It's not badges. Also, I the badges, if you're subscribed, you get a badge. Depending on how long you've been subscribed. 
next to your name. But yeah, so a little bit changes, more things added, which is cool. More uh, ways for people to interact. Right now, I have it set up so you only need a few channel points in order to get to the, be able to, to use an emote. Um, channel points you get just by watching, you don't even have to be a follower. So I might actually raise that up. I have it at the minimums now. I might actually raise that up in order to um, give followers a little extra incentive. So if you are not a follower but you're a regular viewer, then you'll be able to use some of the uh, follower emotes even without being a follower. And then if you're a follower, you'd be able to use some subscriber emotes, whatever, however that works. So I got a lot more changes to do. Uh, with the emotes the only thing that's changing is the the green emote right now animated emote anyway so yeah if you're watching this on youtube jump over to twitch watch it live sometime or you can watch the vibe you can chat you can do commands and stuff in twitch chat when i'm not live but i will not see the chat because i don't get notifications and that kind of thing unlike what i do if you comment on youtube and Twitch, it's funny, between the two, Twitch does not have, like, a community page, so I can't communicate to my uh, followers on Twitch, but I can communicate on YouTube. There's a community page where I can post a community post. Uh, even though I have, I'm not monetized on YouTube, I can still use the community page on my own channel. So if I have information I want to send out, I think I'll start using my community page on YouTube for that. In case you guys, another reason to subscribe to YouTube, then you can... It's my YouTube channel. You can see that. Anyway, enough of all that. There's a celebration going on. Maybe I should have started a whole... Uh, can't. Maybe that's what my intro should have been. Uh, not a whole lot of talent, but a whole lot of celebration. Um, I don't, Did I mention this on Monday? I think it started... It may have started Monday. I don't remember. Anyway, a new patch came out for the Xbox. Um, well, it came out for everybody. Uh, and some changes to the Xbox version um, in particular. And one thing they did is they started this to celebrate the release of the Xbox. They have a celebration event. They will have events every so often. And what you can unlock during the events are... Um, I've got four of these already. So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, I think I unlocked this late Monday. Maybe before the stream Monday. I don't remember. Anyway... Um, so you get these special prizes, and this time they're all, you have to do them one day. Um, you can only do them one per day, and you've got like a month to do them all. Um, but they all have to be earned one day after each other. So you need like that you can earn on the very first day, and then, because that's a free one, then you can earn that on day one, day two, day three. So I've earned uh, the one free one in the first three, and uh, what they are is they're really dumb this time. <laughs> I have to say, they're really, really dumb this time. Uh, they are usually, perhaps they are always either profile icons or um, mods, uh, graphical mods for the, um, I think the only ones I've seen are graphical mods uh, for the different celebrations. And this this time the, the rewards are you get, Xbox theme icons, um, profile picture, avatars, whatever they're called. So you look down at the bottom, the one is a, some character that's wearing an Xbox t-shirt. And then uh, another one is a different character wearing an Xbox t-shirt. It's a Teutonic Knight and uh, has the green Xbox slash uh, for a face mask. And then another one you can get is some other spear line character with an xbox t-shirt very dumb uh, and then the other things you have are um mods but the mods i'll 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 show you this in a separate section because i want to show you what else i did um load up my mods the mods are xbox celebration map i can where's my cursor there it is uh, the Xbox Celebration map, that changes the title screen to have this glowy Xbox thing in the Middle Age tavern outside of... I, I think it's kind of dumb. Um, and then the other ones that are available 
I've won this one that turns trebuchet projectiles into Xbox logos. Um, and then another one is... Um, well, I guess I don't have this yet. Yeah, this is the other one, the Xbox controller relic. And then there's... <laughs> So the, the relics look like Xbox controllers. Really dumb. And the last one is um, uh, something else. Um, I don't remember what it is. Um, but it's, oh, it turns, that's right, it turns um, Siege Towers into Xbox Series X, what they call them, fridge, because they're stand-up. They look like a fridge, I guess. Anyway. But... Oh, I had another reason for going in here. I, I actually turned on a couple. I had this one on for a while, the uh, uh, confetti. Um, that was, I think that's actually pretty cool so that you actually get some visual, functional, you actually get some visual indicator when you're um, on a building, when you have completed a particular research. Because that now it just kind of, glows when you're researching if you're researching multiple things you don't see when each one is done i mean you get an audio indication stuff but anyway i thought that was cool um and then also have the small trees i went with the small trees i think did i mention this on monday maybe i mentioned this on monday um that i was going to change this i'm going with the small trees because i had a problem in playing um uh, i played uh a um Ugh, what's it called? A skirmish. I played a skirmish. And I couldn't see. No, it wasn't the skirmish. The skirmish is fine. Last up, last, um, nearly two episodes ago, or last episode, I think it was two episodes ago on the YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, near the end of the, um, yeah, it would have been at least maybe three episodes ago. I don't know. There's so many episodes of that. Uh, on the YouTube channel, one of the episodes, I was trying to target some towers that were next to a wall, but it was all obstructed by trees, and I could not see the highlight of the tower because the tower highlights, like, at the base. And so I switched to the small trees. I don't. It doesn't look nearly as good, but it's a lot more functional. So uh, I played uh, Skirmish with it, with it, and, yeah, it was okay. I mean, it doesn't look as good, but it's functional. But, with all that said, <laughs> how far? I'm like 10 minutes into this already? 15 minutes almost? I haven't even uh, started actually playing yet. Uh, some problem I had on the Xbox where these got me or had to do with the update. These were not unlocked. It had to, I had to like select one. And it checked with the store to say, oh, yeah, you've, you've got them unlocked. That's fine. But then I got an error, and I had to reboot the Xbox. It might happen to you, so I'll mention it. Reboot your Xbox and then go back into it. Um, Jengus, you know what would be good? If they gave you some indication that you are in progress on this. Maybe just hold it or something. You haven't finished it, but it's in progress. You finished at least one scenario. I don't know. Anyway. Just remember where you were. That's the easy thing to do. Um, I have finished. I have finished the first four episodes. Um, the Horde Rides West. Oh, hold on a second. I'm getting more microphone nonsense. All right, if I, um, if I don't clean the contacts on the mic, it starts scratching like that. But if I do clean the contacts on the mic, it start, also starts scratching like that, but then it's easy to fix. It's, I, I don't understand. I think it's the chat pad that I've got. I've cleaned all the contacts on that. And uh, I would get a new one, except these chat pads aren't available anymore. The original Xbox ones. Maybe I'll go on... Uh, eBay or something. I don't know. Look for a used one. Uh, where was I? They have different, they have third party chat pads for the Xbox controller, but they don't have some of the, the function buttons. Like this has mappable buttons. Yeah, they, the, the Xbox made one and it lets you adjust the volume and your chat mixer and all that stuff easily. The other chat pads don't have that. They do have like shift control and or control and alt buttons but I don't know 
Maybe they're better, maybe they're worse. Anyway, so I'm ready for episode five. Uh, episode five is difficult. Not as difficult as episode three was, which is horrible. Oh yeah, there's all of episode four to watch yet before... Um, yeah, I streamed, I streamed this already, if you're watching on stream, but if you're watching on Xbox, uh, you didn't see any of this yet. Um, anyway. Sorry, if you're watching on YouTube and Xbox. Xbox crazy today. So this episode, The Promise, is, um, also has a timer, like three. But it's semi-cheesable. And then... The last scenario, scenario six, last act, also has a timer, um, and that might also be cheesable. That has a wonder, just like Into China had a wonder, um, that they start after a certain period of time, but um, it might be cheesable. I haven't experimented with it yet to find out if it, it's still cheesable or not. I'll have to I'll have to do that before I get there. But this one has a timer that you can delay for quite some time. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Watch the cinematic spoiler or uh, trigger warning just in general because it's um <laughs> it's uh, Genghis Khan and the Mongols. Uh, well, not the Mongols in general. I mean, I'm sure they're fine people now. But uh, Genghis Khan, um, yeah, not a great guy. So. I don't remember what the cinematic is, but uh, trigger warning in case you're squeamish. Uh, story difficulty, let's get going. Old wolves do not die gracefully. Warriors their whole lives, they do not know how to live when they grow old and their fangs fall out. Such it is with Mongols as well. Genghis Khan was now 80 years old. On the night when we knew our glorious conquest was about to end, Genghis summoned his sons to his tent. They found their father shivering before a fire, delirious with pain. My descendants will wear gold, he said. They will eat the finest meals and ride the finest horses and forget to whom they owe it all. A deed is not glorious until it is finished. And he refused to die until Ogadai, his third son, promised to continue the war. Ogadai emerged from the tent carrying his father's bow and declared, This storm is not yet finished. I hear the sound of lightning and it strikes in Poland. The church bells rang in Europe when they saw our horde pouring out of the mountains. The armies of Bohemia and Germany hastened to Poland's defense. To them, our army might have been from the underworld itself, still commanded by the shade of the great Khan. All right, uh, fun fact, Genghis died at uh, 64. He did not live to 80. And uh, he um, also died, I think, in a boar hunting accident. So, yeah, well, obviously, this whole stuff is fictionalized. Okay, chain selection, speed, slow. I think I mentioned this before. When you reload, if I do a save and I reload it, it changes it, the speed, to casual from slow. It's like not part of the save file, what speed you're playing on. Uh, which is bad, because I start <clears throat> from a save file all the time. And so I, some of the problems I had, I looked at some of the, the um, save files, and they did have a speed of, that was not slow. So after I load it, I have to go into the... Uh, object, objective screens and save it whenever I load a, a um, new after when I whenever I load a save file. Okay, main objectives: you have to capture the German flag, capture the Polish flag, capture the Bohemian flag. Not necessarily in that order. <clears throat> you want to capture the Polish flag first. The reason is if you get close to the Germans, that triggers a timer, which they don't tell you about. Um, when the Bohemians are going to attack. If you stay away from the Germans until you conquer the Polish and build up enough of a force that you think you can take the Germans, then the Bohemians will, it will trigger a timer for them to attack. And the Bohemians have a huge army. <clears throat> so uh, 
yeah, you have to try to avoid. It's gonna, it's tough. You need to build lots of, uh, lots of um, defensive structures. Anyway, scouting report. Mongols have arrived in the north. I mean, I've already built a small camp. I'm the Mongols. I'm, I'm the good guy in this scenario. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the uh, Polish have taken their position in the east. And uh, in the south uh, are the reasonably well-fortified camps of Germany. They have it's reasonably well-fortified, but they can be... Uh, there's castles in the middle that can be trebbed. And it turns out that one of the things you also will need to do is replace the German castle with three of your own. There's a lot of hidden objectives in here. Well, not a lot. I guess that's the only hidden objective, but the timer is hidden until you get started. Um, they'll send Pikemen, Teutonic Knights, uh, blah, blah, blah. So they're uh, Teutons uh, Civ in the game. Um, yeah, and they're they're going to try to batter down your uh, fortifications, but that's okay um, because the main problem is the Bohemians. The Bohemians are by far away the strongest opponent. They are passive initially, but the fighting will be fierce should the Bohemian army attack, which eventually they'll have to attack because you've got to capture their flag. Um, they have access to seized weapons of all kinds, including... Trebs and skirmishers and I don't remember, maybe scorpions or sorry, trebs and uh, mangonels, onagers uh, perhaps um, scorpions um, battering rams, yeah, they're incredibly difficult um, they start with a huge army but they just sit back, if you can survive their wave um, then they're not so difficult after that but um yeah, surviving the initial wave is, is uh, difficult. And you've only got so much time before they start attacking unless you cheese it and avoid that, uh, <laughs> that timer. Uh, again, 125. <clears throat> um, don't use all of your stone. Yeah, do not spend all of your stone in the market. You're going to need it. Uh-huh. You don't start with an awful lot of stone, but I think you get more stone if you take out the Polish. Um... The capture flag, you just have to go close to it. I think the flags appear on the map, although I don't see them. Um, and then, uh, oh, that's it. Okay, let's get started. Oh, let me go over some of the changes, though, also. Um, yes, they did appear on the map, on the mini-map. If you look to the lower right, you can see that that's where the flags are. The Polish are to the east, the... Yeah, you are in the north, east, the Polish are due east, Germans due south, more or less, and the uh, Bohemians are in the north, west. Uh, but one other change is, the changes they made to, um, there are some changes they made. They One thing they did is they fixed a bug where if you told, if you, if you, told someone to build a, un a uh, house, let's say, told a villager to build a house, it would sometimes pick a villager that's way across the map. Um, they fixed it now, so it's always the nearest villager. If you don't manually select it, if you select the terrain and say, build something here, it'll select the nearest villager. Also, they tweaked the idea of the builders. They're not going to um, wander off. It can go back to their economic buildings. They'll follow through more. But unfortunately, there's still some bugs in that. Sometimes they will not follow through. If you give them multiple orders of building, they'll build one house and then go away. So anyway, they're still working on that. They're going to have a fix for that actually shortly. They usually have put out patches once a month, but that's going to come out very soon. And then next month, they're expecting a very big patch. So any bugs are in the game. Got to make sure you, you mention them, report them. You can report them on the web page. Uh, I can't remember what the web page is. AOE.com, possibly. <laughs> AO Empires, I don't know. Ageofempires.com. Um, also, if you're in Xbox, you can do it through the... And there's a support page there uh, to report bugs. You can also report bugs from within the Xbox 
if you're playing on the Xbox. Anyway, some of the things they changed. Um, the map is, the mini-map is now huge. Can I pause while that's up? Yes, you see how huge the mini-map is now. It was like half of that size when you expanded it. Now it's huge, there's no excuse um, for not, be, for not uh, being able to see things on it. I was actually, I'm an old man, you know, I have to lean forward sometimes. Now I don't need to lean forward. I can see my economy. I can see where all the relics are and stuff like that pretty easily just by sitting back. Um, and the other thing they did, though, is um, zooming. You can now zoom in really far <laughs> um, and zoom out really far. I think this might be as far as you could normally zoom out, but uh, you can zoom in really far now. And in fact, there, you can limit it to not zoom in as far as possible. Then you can set an option where you can zoom in even farther. I have it limited right now, but that, sometimes there's a bug on that. Anyway, so I'll have to uh, play with that a little bit. But yeah, you can zoom in much farther now than you used to be able to, which is good. Um, let's stop dilly-dallying. I am on a timer here. Um, wait, am I, what age am I in? Yeah, I'm in Castle Age. I thought I started in Castle Age. So let's go with that. Uh, first thing I need to do, though, is spend my gold. Um, I can queue up some villagers, although I'm going to be housed, but I need to spend my gold. That's even, or my stone. That's even more important than spending my, um, oh, I got to put all these guys, because they might accidentally, um, they might accidentally go on attack and go someplace where I don't want them to. Oh, like right now, I think they're about to, they should go on stand ground, actually, I think. Um... Yep, put them on stand ground so they don't act until I get that thing built. There, one place you have to build a wall is uh, here. I can send a villager. If I go about halfway, if I go much farther up this path, like to here, that will trigger the timer. So I don't want to do that. So what I need to do is right away, I can build some houses, I guess, first. That would make some sense. Um, oh, why? And then, uh, Very a, Very a, okay, let's just do that for now. Um, but yeah, somebody here, you start with enough stone to build some walls and gates. So let's start by building a gate, and then I'm going to lock the gate so nobody goes through that way. And this is very, very important. So move this over, like Very here. Different. And then tell him to also build... Some walls uh, here, right next to the gate, and then also build a wall um, here, next to the gate. Okay, now he should handle that, and when that's built, I'll lock the gate, and then I can put these back on defensive. Um, also down here, you're going to want to uh, build stuff. What is that? Is somebody, like, attacking me already? I don't see I'm being attacked, but apparently somebody is attacking somewhere. So as long as I don't go back there, I can... Oh, is that my Manganel attacking the knights? You know, he's fine. Just leave him alone. Um, and I think I can go all the way to the wall here without triggering the timer. If I, if I trigger the timer, I'm resetting the scenario. Um, and so here is where I also want a wall, because this is where they're going to attack from, but there's stone here that I want to get to first. And so I will wall them on the other side of the stone. Um, yes, from here to there is a good place to wall. So let's get that villager again. He's no, he's I'm now a lumberjack doing. again. You'll get to drop off your stuff soon enough, buddy. Just, just stay with me here. Okay, and there. And then also get him to build a wall um, there to there. And another wall from there to there. Okay. 
You know, you are going to end up killing... Well, this guy's going to be dead. Oh, yeah, let's lock this. He's scouting with a knight, which, you know, I guess is okay. Kind of silly, but... Now, uh, once I get enough stone, building a castle over here is a good idea. This guy's already on stand ground. Um, but I might have to use him sometimes. These guys now can go on defensive. If they wander off that way, it's still safe. Did he get all three of them? Where's my other guy? Uh, okay, here he is. Put him on defensive. Okay. All right. Now, let's get some more villagers. Oh, I didn't, I wasn't going to be housed, was I? Because they start off with, like, population cap of 20. Okay, you're not going to make it, buddy. Okay, that's fine. Um, the main... Attacks initially are going to come from the Germans. The Germans are red. They're going to come from here. This way is the Polish. Uh, I was just looking around, playing the, you know, practicing this like I do. And um, the Polish did not attack me at all. They sent, like, some scouts, but that's about it. Um, is that it? Can you not build a wall here? Apparently not. There's rocks there. Okay, good. It makes me nervous, but... Uh, there's a way to test it. Can I get through there? He looks like he knows how to get through there. No, he cannot. Okay, good. Just graph it all. All right. So now I don't feel so uh, so scared. Keep one guy here and scout around here with the rest with this guy. I can't remember how far down this goes, but whatever. Um, I don't know if I start with boars or anything even. Uh, there's wood, better wood places, I think. There's wood, there's wood, or I'm sorry, trees. See, there are not a lot of resources here. You do have to break out here to get to, uh, the Polish pretty soon, but you can still, you have time to build up some resources. Um, which you're going to want to do to improve your defenses. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I did that. I didn't know you could do that so easily. Okay. Okay. Um, that's reasonably close. So let's switch to that. There is actually fish here. Let's take somebody. Uh, here. Get fish. Fish is good. I don't think you start with any boars that you can see in the initial area. No. Oh, this guy's been hurt. Okay. Um... Can I can I do the lure thing? Can I do the lure thing. Can I lure both of them? Or herd, I mean. Oh no, he's gonna wander off. No no no. Don't don't wander off. Okay. That's cool. So, a little bit better food there. Uh, keep the villagers coming. And the main thing is to get stone right away. So, I'm going to actually change my priorities a little bit. 
Because I want to build a castle before they start attacking. Building a castle back here is a really good idea. So, um, wrong button. Uh, here. Oh, I want to get that score off the screen. It's it's messing with my... Uh, you usually just put objectives on, not the score. Um, yeah, add, add to that. And maybe subtract from that for now. Okay. Um, what is it? Is it this button? Yes. Just show objectives. Okay, that's objectives in both. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't show you both if you have objectives in both because there's no room now. Okay, maybe that's why I missed it before. Okay, and... Uh... Beeping bad. Oh, you're just sitting there, huh? Did you hunt... No, hunt Aren't this guy. You? You're sitting right there. Oh, wait, no. Eat. Go Aren't ahead, you? eat him. Timo. Somebody needs to eat this guy. That guy's eating that guy. Okay. Why are you just standing there? You shot him. <sighs> um, anyway, I will need a mill someplace. Want a mill someplace? Um, just to allow me to make more farms. So let's put it here, I guess. And upgrades, basically. Um, oops. Build. Uh... I should have this by no memorized by heart by now. Enough room to make farms around it. Amramindu. Uh, why don't you? Well, I already got. No, why don't you come over here and gold too? Okay, I can do my upgrades. Uh, oh, I didn't put a lumber camp anywhere, did I? Yeah, that's might want to do that. Reclaiming like choppers. Build a lumber camp. Uh, over here, I guess, because then if they wander off, well, over here. Yeah, there's not a lot of not a lot of woods. Not all the resources right away, for sure. Um, is there a way to get? I don't think there's a way to get. There. Wait, this map looks different. Oh, maybe it's up through here? No, I don't know. There was some way to get, like, a bigger patch of wood somewhere. Which looks like it's here, but there's a wall there now. Weird. I played it in the same... Played it in the same, uh, map, right? This is the right place for the wall by the gold. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, um... There I go again, yapping, instead of uh, playing. Okay. Upgrade. Uh, upgrade. Don't need that yet. Um, uh, can't do that yet. What do I need for that? Oh, more wood, of course. And... What was the... Wait, what did I... What's this? Site... Oh, that's a site command. Oh, I can just tell the villagers to drop off. Ah, okay. Interesting. Well, that's weird. So here... Oh, because I didn't highlight it. If you don't highlight it... Ah, that's right. Site commands. Okay. Never mind. Um... Stone, give that priority. I'm gonna and then, uh, when this goes back up, I can build that. Um, I got enough room for five more before I get housed. So let's get somebody else on the houses. Uh, and then come over here. Yeah. 
Even though I hit... Oh, maybe that's the problem. I was holding the A button and it picked three different villagers. Maybe that's what the problem is. I don't know. Oh, there's more up there I didn't scout. Oh, that's why I'm confused. I thought I scouted all the way to the north. I didn't. Where's my other... Um... But yeah, here's where all the trees are. Now I'm not going to be able to get to them because I got houses there. I knew there was more trees somewhere. Okay, so the tree situation is not as bad as I was making it out to be. And I put those houses in terrible spots. Can he not even get through there with the tree there? Okay, he can't. So we'll just call that a choke point. I meant to do that. You can't get through there, but you can come up here. Okay, so that's where the wood should be chopped. Ah, those farms are eating up my wood. There's no other good food around. Let me uh, turn off the auto farm for now. Just so I can get that upgrade going. In fact, I can adjust my party slightly. Um, there. 9 and 11 now. Okay, yes, this is where all the woods are. This was the bigger woods, and there's also bigger woods here. Okay. Oh, and there's another gold pile up here. Oh, yeah, and there's a relic here. Um, which I could get at some point. Is that a deer? I already built the mill, didn't I? Is that a deer or a bush? I can't tell. It's a bush. Okay, never mind. Um, another thing that's really good is to build a watchtower, like in this corner. Um, so let me do that. Actually, I'm going to save. Whenever I do anything around that um where the, the where i might possibly trigger i'm going to make sure i save because uh i want i want to have lots of save points back in case i accidentally trigger that thing and i'm pretty sure this will not trigger it because i tried this in practice but uh having the uh watchtower here helps me um helps me helps me helps me helps me <laughs> it helps me um it helps me see when the germans are coming um yeah the germans okay five dash one. Oh, and i gotta build that castle too to help defend against the germans i should have the stone now right yes i got the stone okay uh let's this upgrade now i can afford it um i'm not close to being getting enough gold to go up to mind. um castle a or imperial age yet so i'm not worried about that uh okay i can afford some more villagers and i'll set the thing here the first one for the castle Maybe. I just I gotta grab another builder. I'm gonna mean you're working on strays. Okay. You're you're a good candidate then to build the watchtower. Uh watchtower. Wait, not a watchtower. Uh a outpost. I just want to be able to see. A watchtower there might not be a bad idea either, but the main thing I want to do is be able to see. Okay. Did I get that new villager? I probably didn't. She already wandered off. Um, where are you going? You're a lumberjack. Okay. I'll have you 
be the deed. Um, castle. There's a place in here where it will go. Um, because there's a lot of water here, but there is a sneaky place in here where it will fit and still be able to see the whole gate. There, I think that's the closest I can get it. Can I get it here? No. Okay, here. It can not quite see the whole gate, but once I upgrade the uh, attack distance, um, it will, which reminds me that I need uh, some other production buildings, right? So, build me a... Uh, I know I need a blacksmith, but I'm going to also need a market. But that's not necessarily a siege works. Well, I'm building a castle. So let's just build the blacksmith in the uh, university right now. And start getting upgrades. Uh, why can I still not recognize? I should be able to recognize these things instantly. Here, and when you're done with that, build a uh, university. Uh, right next to it. I should have done interfere with the farms that are there, but I think that's fine. Just temporarily. Okay, now let's start getting these rolled out. Uh, for my manga die, that's good. Uh, and that's also for castles. That's a very important one, so that can cover the wall. Um, Archer armor, I think they benefit from that. Archer. Inventory armor, I can hold off on that. Um, cavalry attack and cavalry armor to be good. Wait, nobody finished building that. Why did nobody finish building that? Building. <sighs> Okay, now that I've got the castle, I can switch the priorities back. Up gold uh, again. To help me get to um, Imperial. Actually have almost all the food that I need. Let's balance that out with the stone. Uh, I can drop this a little. Oops, drop it. Because there isn't much snow, stone left. Oh, I'm going to need to build a market too. But there's lots of gold back here. Uh, might as well build the market. Because that's not going to cost me. It doesn't cost me gold, does it? I didn't look to see. No, just wood. So I thought. Okay. And I got some more villagers. See, I'm slow. I'm a slow guy. Slow start. This episode. If you're watching on YouTube, it's just going to be me building up my economy and getting prepared. I'm not going to be attacking anyone yet, which is my want. Um, oh, and somebody can build. Aha! Germans are attacking. And I could see them there because that outpost, which isn't built yet. Can you not? Ugh, they can't reach it. That's the problem. Oh. Cut, cut, cut down this tree first. What is your problem? You can't get you can't get either of those. You have to come through here. 
Ah! I aim, was able to build this before, right there. I don't think I can build it there. I don't think they can get to it. Okay, somebody build a lumber camp. You. Right here. Closest place you can build it to here. No, fuck! <sighs> okay. Somehow I saw that when I built that thing there. Or no, he saw it. Okay. Reloading! Back to my last save point. I don't know how I triggered it. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do is exit, watch the replay, and maybe I'll see how I triggered it. Because I do have it saved. I am going to reload it. So... Let's... Uh, uh, quit, and now I can... Uh, it's way too early for him to start attacking me now. Save replay. Okay. Now let's watch the replay and see where I went wrong. Near the end. Oh, I should have show I should have looked to see where my timer was. I don't know how soon I have to get there. Ugh. Anyway. Okay. I lost quite a bit of time. When I first put down that, oh, that, um, outpost is when I did the save. Great content today, folks. <laughs> this first episode is getting the best. First, I yap about all the Twitch changes for 15 minutes, and then, uh, I have to restart because I messed something up. Uh, first the replay. Watch the replay. Okay. I should have set a chapter marker before <clears throat> I saved, because then I would have known. At what mark did I say? Otherwise I might miss it. <clears throat> But yeah, this is still going to take, like, 15 minutes to watch all this back. <laughs> Which means, you know what this would be? A great time for... That's right, folks. Ending the episode! <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been about 50 minutes. I'm going to uh, take a break. If you're watching on Twitch, I will... Be back in a few minutes. We can watch this replay together, and then I'll start up another um, YouTube episode. If you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for this episode. And uh, <laughs> the, the episodes don't come out right away. So if you see where I screwed up in the YouTube episode, feel free to leave a comment. But I've already gotten past it. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, either way, I will see you when I see you. <laughs>